the best method of study is the way you are actually used to studying or which is your method of study which you are comfortable if you take tiger roads if you practice 10000 tee off shots or if you if you consider bruce lee who will keep on practicing the same kick again and again practice 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 hello there i am dr purnendu roy i am a surgeon in genesis hospital Actually, the hottest topic of discussion now is how to crack NEET 2020. Today we have Tomogno Banerjee. Tomogno, you took NEET in 2015. Uh, how did you prepare for it? Uh, did you find the exam difficult? And what message would you like to give for people who are going to try for 2020? There are certain, certain things that uh, we need to keep in mind when we are preparing for NEET, physics, chemistry and biology. So out of those three subjects, what is most important I found is that although there is 50% uh, of the questions are from biology and the rest 50% are divided equally into chemistry and physics, but I found it really important to give equal amount of time to all the subjects because uh, the marks are going to be cumulative of all the three subjects. So it's very important that we are prepared equally in all the subjects. And what is really uh, important to know uh, when, before you give NEET is that the questions in physics and chemistry are really easier compared to that in uh, the questions in uh, bi biology. So if we uh, give equal amount of time to physics and chemistry, I think we're going to get more proportion of marks in physics and chemistry compared to that of biology and in that way we can balance the difficult questions that we cannot answer in biology by getting right more questions in physics and chemistry. But don't know, but suppose if I don't agree with you and if I say that I'm just too good or a person with uh, say biology and uh, he gets a chance that out of the 90 question, 90 into 4, that he has a chance of scoring 360 and whereas I'm not so sure about whether I'll be able to score that full box. So if it is an individual choice that if I know that if I understand the human physiology, if I know that how in loop of Henle the urea concentration can maintain the countercurrent mechanism of urine formation, maybe if I get all those things correct, I have a chance of getting full score. Whereas when you say that another person may be just too good in physics, he can finish the physics syllabus just like that. So I think it should not be a dictum that if I have 30 days, I should read 10 days physics, 10 day chemistry and 10 day biology, not necessary. I would think that is individualized. Somebody's chemistry may be weak. That person may need to give a little more pressure and somebody's probably feel that I score full marks in biology. So let that person give full marks. It should be, I think, individualized. So as a background information, I would like to say that Sir is an alumni of JIPMER. Congratulations, Sir. He has completed his MBBS as well as his Masters in General Surgery from JIPMER. And during his time, there were only 25 seats. And he managed to be top 25 from India in his time. So I'd like to know his experience and what he did to get into medical school at his time. In our time, we never had such structured preparation technique, you know, like we didn't have so many institutes which give specialized training in uh, medical entrance or separate IIT or separate for law, CLAT, and we never had all these things. We knew that there were three things which I had to know, physics, chemistry, and biology. And in our time, Probably we didn't have so many choices. So we read all the possible books in physics, chemistry and biology and went and took part and wrote the exams. Uh, the only good thing that at that time JIPMA had is no negative marking. So we had the guts to, you know, like attempt all the question. I'm not sure whether this should be told or not. I reached the exam hall half an hour late. Uh, that was the first time at the age of 16 I went to, because we had 11 years of, and I reached Delhi on my own, was very scared, and I didn't know how to go to a hotel or something. I stayed in the railway platform for the night, and next morning I had AFMC interview. So I went for the AFMC interview in command hospital, and I was released from there at 10. 
and 10 o'clock was my Jipmer exam in UPSC hall. So I reached the exam hall half an hour late and they did not allow me to enter. So I kind of was completely lost and I didn't know what to do. So I went that fellows under his arm, ran to the hall and we saw only one seat there and I sat down over there, wrote my roll number and I, I told the teacher, invigilator, sir, please don't stop or take my paper away. Because if you take my paper away, I'm going to make noise and nobody else will be able to write. So I was under that kind of a stress. I don't know. There are people who perform better under stress. And I knew I was half an hour late. And so I started taking each and every question. And I finished everything in one and a half hours. First that is a three. Science, first signs of becoming a surgeon. <laughs> I don't know because I thought that I was already late so I, I, I finished it very fast so if you ask me was there any special plan or preparation do I have any advice no I think my concept was if you know your physics and if you know your chemistry and biology whatever be the exam pattern uh, you should be able to crack it that was my way what do you think is the best way to prepare in this time that we have proper utilization of the time for the period to prepare for NEET 2020. So both of us uh, belong to different generations and both of us had our own ways of preparation for a medical school. So sir, what should be your advice for this current batch preparing for NEET with a few months left for their examination? I would advise whatever hours you have divided into four parts each day. That means three, 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 three. You follow three subjects physics chemistry biology and the last three hours that is in case if you could not finish something you come back to that and if you have finished what you had created at a target then you do mcq solutions and if that three hours you have nothing else to do do an exact mock test which is a ready-made mock which means 45 questions in physics 45 questions in chemistry and 90 questions of biology how does this help because then you will know whether you are able to solve 180 questions within the time period if you can't then you need to change certain plans which means that should I finish the biology first because either you know it or you don't know it whereas in physics you may have to do certain solvings uh, problems or any others equations so you decide how you want to go and this is just to let you know your method is the best method but still plan it plan the total duration time you have plan by week plan by hours and while creating this plan leave buffer time after seven days you leave a buffer time so that whatever backlog has been created that can be covered in that time I think more than this will be too much because you have to find your own method like I used to enjoy going out to play so before my board exam as well as for the competition every day I used to go out to play so you keep your time if you think that you need to do something else you keep your time I used to write all the formulas that are there for every chapter on a particular sheet of paper and I, I used to revise it every day and as far as chemistry is concerned I used to write down the reactions of organic chemistry every day by seeing the book and keep watching it and, and keep watching yeah. it until it becomes a habit it becomes a reflex yeah. and as far as biology is concerned what I want to advise to my juniors is that wherever you get the dates of certain important events in biology jot it down in biology, one place jot it down in one place in a, in a sheet of paper go through that the more you can remember the better it is for you so I think what you're basically saying it's spaced repetitions or revisions yes. which is yes. so repeatedly keep coming back every morning see the formulas see the reactions on the day of the exam when you are taking different things each time you see the question if it is question number 55 just check whether you are taking 55 or not because one question if you leave it sometimes that gap you tend to keep taking in the continuous way and if you have left one gap all the answers can become wrong and the whole exam may become a disaster so every question check the number and every answer check the number whether it is matching number two is you're trying to solve a physics problem and you're stuck with it don't waste your time just leave it go to the next one now if there are four choices 
which means if you get a correct answer it's plus four if you get a wrong answer if it's minus one and if you don't attempt it is zero now if you have somehow managed to rule out definitely two out and out of two you feel there is a heavy chance that d is correct and c is not probably it is worth taking intelligent guess and that you'll have to decide how many or how much sure it is because in case if i try to give you an example that out of 10 questions total number if you do not know and you have ruled out half of it in if if you get 50 50 chances that means five right five wrong five right you will make five into four 20 and five wrong you will make minus five so 20 minus five you have plus 15 so you have to make a judgment that how much sure you are on which side an intelligent guess is definitely required well Tomogno, i think we have more or less covered everything that we wanted to give as a last minute tip for people who want to crack need 2020 now it's a time to wish them best of luck yes all the best keep cool and always reassure yourself yes. that yes i will do it and that's the way to go about it but plan it and if you think that the tips that you got is useful please share with your friends like subscribe to our channel and thank you very much for watching generations i mean uh, are you trying to tell me that i'm an antique piece this is just to let you know i'm not sure about your age i'm only 18 one eight and that's the way i'm going to be as long as i live